Hi friends, in the last video we created this wonderful e-commerce website. Suppose you are having multiple users at your e-commerce site. Of course, uh, users are there. There might be multiple editors at your website, subscribers, customers and all type of users there can be. And you want to track their activity, what they are actually doing at your website how you can do this in this video i am going to show you a simple solution to track everything what is happening at your website you can track everything what is going on who is doing this the user and their details and what they are actually doing how they are interacting with your website and i am going to show you a very simple solution through plugin of course and if um, you are willing to enhance your WordPress website functionality. Uh, please keep watching the next videos as well. I am I have collected multiple solutions for WooCommerce and even for general WordPress website. And in the coming videos, I am coming with one by one and those solution and they will definitely help you in enhancing the feature at your WordPress website. So don't forget to subscribe if, if you are coming to this channel very first time and continue watching every video you never know which can be really very much helpful for your website okay so in this video we are very much concerned with the user activity and the plugin that i am going to show you is called user activity log pro for wordpress of course, it is a paid plugin and it is available at codecanyon.net and you have to follow the video description link that is an affiliate link to get the plugin, get the solution and you can even join the iCreate program where the iCreate mentors are going to implement all these things, all the facility at your WordPress website along with this one that I am going to show you. So you can join the program, you can follow the links, there are multiple links. So user activity log pro is the plugin that tracks everything that is happening at your website summarily it is mm, uh, controlling and not controlling and tracking the uh, wordpress core updates post pages created updated or deleted tag category taxonomies or com comments media users plugin related activity theme widgets menu export related activity admin will be notified via email sms for selected users activity now i'll quickly take you so to the admin panel of this user activity log pro and i must tell you this plugin has been developed by solving and they are elite author at invato market that is an code canyon.net and it this plugin particularly got 4.58 star rating so this is a very good rating and it has got 751 sales as on date and it is running since uh, 2016 and the regular updates are also being done time to time for this plugin so it is very reliable stable plugin and it has been loved by its users as well so you can see out of 24 comments you it got uh, 4.58 star rating so i'll take you quickly to the admin so this is the admin panel and it has been supplied by the plugin developer itself so I'm showing their uh, demo instance and definitely I'll, I'll install the plugin at our this website for this website as well but yes it is very comprehensive so I'm showing you this one and this is the interface this is user activity log interface and it is simply showing the activity what is going on uh, on the website simply in detail everything so like you can see so what is going on like if we wish to track uh, the this guest 13 minutes ago and coming from united states and wp had uh, what he had done activities uh, wp had and on page and the viewed page which page he visited it is really very important so you can even track the page views which page is exactly being 
viewed and you can check the details so it is not uh, so I can simply click on the link okay so link is not showing anything but yes this report is itself very comprehensive and it is simply telling us the activity what has been done by the user and we can further randomly check the users like this is also from double grant the video type page and like this is the view page and it is really very detailed and we can understand what is going on at our website from this dashboard I mean from this interface summarily now I'm showing you the screens one by one what is given here with the plugin what are the solutions what are the details given by the plugin so first of all we can see logged in and logged out users so this is an another link and it is simply showing the login activity login and logout activity logout user from this session only so you have a uh, further two options to control their login activities as well like this is an user from India and uh, so uh, action is going on view log history uh, so that is I, I am so uh, it is simply showing the detail and uh, like uh, this is showing the view log history so what is going on so it is like okay so it, it itself in the page okay so the next is the we can check the country and the browser that has been used for accessing the uh, login activity and when date time and even we can handle the logout uh, and we can and log out the user from this particular session or uh, from all devices as well so this is a very good control to handle user login and for the in the next screen we have email setting how we want to trigger the emails and notification in fact so email notification setting is here so you can uh, set the email like this and from email can be placed here and alert me on email for WordPress user failed logins more than one time so you can decide everything alert me on email when existing users for um, log in more than 10 times and for user generates for not for for errors more than 10 times and this is the email that uh, the administrator will receive and so this is all configurable you can ch change the setting according to your needs similarly we have uh, triggers like all email notification triggers we can edit and the login multiple time test users so whatever you want to add a trigger so you have this add new trigger option as well so you can uh, trigger add new trigger like user a add and trigger with is equal to trigger value so it is totally uh, for you you can check the existing triggers uh, how it is working so like email setting I'll take you again okay so this is the trigger like we can edit this we can check how it is configured so like activity trigger with not equal and the email address is to be placed and it can be further uh, set for triggering for email notification further we have in the next screen SMS setting so of course we need to take uh, SMS gateways like SMS notifications alert me when you want to have alert so this is the activity that we can set and notification can be set for SMS I'm not, I cannot see where we can uh, add the SMS gateway detail might be on another screen okay add sms notification this might be this thing okay so this is user id uh, enter the title here and all these details so mobile number where we want to have this trigger in the setting we have this like uh, in the general setting we have enabled 
dashboard widgets enable IP address for log or whatever we want to check so we can enable and disable from this screen and keep failing login number of failed logins existing users keep logs for delete data and deletion okay so this is general setting book setting in the hook setting we have what actually we want to track throughout the website so these are the activities so this is very comprehensive you can select by default all is selected so all activities will be logged and you can randomly remove the instances or remove the choices whatever you don't want like if the plugin is installed so it will also track the plugin activities plugin changes changes in the plugin activities and next password setting is here so old password okay role manager we can decide so who can access user activate activity log pro so we can decide here whom you want to this facility like um, if you want to keep this facility for you i mean for administrator only you can limit this custom event settings so again you have add custom events like event level and all so what events are going on event name activity name is event level is this event type and event description so you can create as many event as you want and you can even exclude the logs and sms notification okay so this is the setting that why i discussed we need to take sms gateway like twilio is the most popular one so we can uh, keep the details and place the details of Tilo credentials and the sms notification will also work in the next screen i can see the reports and this can be very good so these are the reports and like select users for whom you want to generate the reports you want to select the users you need to add more users you can even remove the users and you can select the roles for this is for running the report you have to configure for which users which types which activity you want to run the report and like which format you want to run the report and simply we can after setting all this we can generate the report and it can be sent to the email if scheduled for report so we can simply generate this report just to check and it is here and this is the report that i just downloaded in the html format this is a very comprehensive report and it can be downloaded and shared with any required users or so similarly you can get the report in the csv or pdf or json and you required a statics reports number of uh, login or user number of logins so all 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 it can be set here next screen is showing db integration database integration so database username and you can even so this this is what i am thinking why this database required so keep below fields blank if you want to store existing data to the current site's database it means if you want to keep the data at this installation i mean at your website installation you don't need to fill this and if you want to keep the log at another database you can fill these details and that will be stored on another database and further database can be migrated as well so these are the migration details and then this is license and debug log so i believe this is going to be a full solution for user activity log and it goes without saying the plug in will work fine and now finally i'm going to show you the actual installation this is this was a test instance from the developer as i said and i am going to install the plugin at my website for this website like so i am going to add the plugin add new plugin okay so i need to go in the plugin add new and i will install the plugin upload plugin teach file downloads user activity pro and this is the plugin file that we need to upload and now installing i just wanted to show you the installed form of the plugin as well 
and as i said you can simply buy this plugin through the link through the affiliate link given in the video description actually you should follow all the links uh, and you can explore other solutions for your wordpress website like posting and whatever you want for and uh, furthermore you can simply join the iCreate program and if you want to know more about the program and discuss want to discuss more so you can schedule a chat chat session with the mentor and this is the options so you can simply schedule a chat session with mentor and you will be able to make a uh, discussion and with the mentor this is chat schedule screen and you you can schedule a chat okay so plugin has been uh, installed successfully now i am activating the plugin okay so this is the same screen and it has been installed so these are these all are functions we got as we see in the demo instance now at our installation and i am not going to show you further because I have only one user at this installation and it depends on you how you want to configure how many users at your website it is totally configurable according to your need so in the next video I am coming with more and log solution and in the next video I am also going to show you another logging solution so keep watching keep building thank you